Hello and welcome. This is the first lesson of Python programming. We start with operators and variables. Very basic, but everything starts with the first step. Here we go. So I open up Visual Studio 2015, open the project that you know from the previous tutorial, and I changed it a little bit. You can see we have now comments here. Comments are not executed when you run your program. They start with this sharp letter here and I inserted them so that you can see which tasks we want to execute during this first lesson. Okay, what do we want to do? We want the user to input two numbers and we will store this input in so-called variables. The first variable is called num1 then we use the input command to let the user input this number. But you can see that the user has to in input a string. It is not a number. Just remember this. I will come back to this later on. Now this is the first number the user has to input. Then we declare a new variable called num2 so that the user can input a second number. Okay, great. Now we have two variables. Let's start the program. The command line will open. You can enter the first and the second number. Done. Now we want to do something with these new variables with num1 and num2. And I thought it would be great to execute operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and so on and so forth. So let's execute an addition. So the operator for the addition is the plus. And we store this in the add variable. And then I want to print out the result of this addition. So I write print, add result, then I concatenate the variable with my string add result. And let's see what the result will be. What do you expect? I insert the number 2 and then the number 4 and the result is 24. So why is this the case? Let's see. The input method here returns a string and when we concatenate these two strings then there is no mathematical operation executed. We just concatenate 2 and 4. So the result is absolutely correct. If we want to work with numbers we have to cast these numbers or the input, the string, into a number. And this is done here with the method int. We turn the string into an integer. And now we have two numbers that we can work with. For that we can apply mathematical operations. And when we do this, we can store the result in a new variable, which will also be an integer. And now let's run the project. But we receive an error. Why? We want to print out a number in the print method, but the print method expects a string. So we have to transfer, or the different word is to cast, this number into a string, and this is done with the str method. Now run the program again, type in the numbers, and you can see the result is correct. So great, now let's do this for all the other operations like multiply, store this in a new multiply or mult, I call this mult variable, subtraction, division, and the power of, the exponential power of a value can also be calculated and this is the operator star and then again star. This will calculate the exponential power of num and num2. Okay, now we calculated this. 
stored this in variables and now let's print out all the results i will just copy and paste the output for the add operation and replace this with the appropriate variables very simple now the division and last but not least the power of okay that's it now let's run this type in two then four and here are the results for all our operations so i really hope you like this tutorial in the next one we will mess a little bit around with conditional statements and perhaps uh, loops so stay tuned, subscribe to my channel and it would be really cool if you could support me on my Patreon. See you soon for the next tutorial.